For every suicide, there are more than 20 self-harm attempts. And even more occasions of thoughts and feelings of suicide. Each of these occasions is an opportunity to offer help early and to increase the chance of recovery. We know that timely, detailed information is key for targeted early intervention. However, current death reports on suicide can occur three years following an event. And data from hospital admissions and emergency departments can be delayed by more than a year. We also know that these data don't provide the whole picture of self-harm. Many self-harm attempts, as well as thoughts of suicide, do not lead to a hospital visit. These people can fall through the cracks. When cases are recorded in hospital information, we cannot tell if a person intended to take their own life when they hurt themselves, or if the self-harm was accidental. And suicidal thoughts are not reported at all within these information systems. Many opportunities to help are missed. Coding ambulance clinical patient records is an internationally unique approach, offering the most up-to-date and comprehensive picture of suicide and self-harm. Data is available within three months and collects detailed information on attempted suicides, expressions of suicidal thoughts and feelings, accidental overdose, those harming themselves for a purpose other than death, and suicidal deaths. Information is also collected on the method of self-harm, drug and alcohol use, mental health symptoms, and other important factors, such as homelessness, unemployment, financial problems, family issues, and many more. This creates new opportunities to identify geographical areas of concern, the types of people who are most at risk, as well as concerning patterns of self-harm, such as those who call an ambulance multiple times or those with increasingly harmful behavior. Timely information with this detail and population reach can be used to build and measure the success of targeted interventions for the benefit of the whole community.